In this squim shed, there's the skeleton of a boat that's more than a hundred years old, and a man doing something most people would say is insane. It's one of those things that makes absolutely no sense. It's, it's completely, you know, in terms of finance and the amount of time it takes and everything, it's, it's completely mad. Leo Golden of Samson Boat Company is bringing this boat back from the dead, one plank at a time. This is a wooden sailing yacht called Tally Ho. Uh, she was built in England in 1910. He found her rotting in an Oregon boat yard two years ago. First time I'm coming aboard Tally Ho. This boat actually won the Fastnet, the world's biggest ocean sailing race, back in 1927. Despite the decay, Leo believed he could restore her to her former glory. And there's one particular picture, photograph of her from 1927 uh, during this race that she won, and she's got this mountain of sail up, and she just looks really, really awe inspiring. And I think that picture really sealed the deal for me. He bought her for a buck, trucked her to Washington's Olympic Peninsula, found a crew of volunteers, and got to work. Then reality hit him. I wildly underestimated the cost, of course, and the time frame. Leo's fundraising solution? He added cameras to his set of boat building tools. Today, the Tally Ho is the star of a YouTube reality show that has 113,000 subscribers. Amazingly and luckily, the videos I've been making and documenting this process with have, have attracted a lot of attention online. There is something about wooden boats, I think, that, that people love and are drawn to. Fans following the project have the option of donating money each time Leo puts up a new video via a web platform called Patreon. And so this project is more or less crowdfunded now. It's worth watching. There's some low-key drama. Turo, turo, turo. This is Poncho. There's even the mandatory animal sidekick. It's her favorite thing is to ride the forklift. Yeah, it's put on enough. His goal? To race her in the fast net once again and to bring the thousands of viewers who are helping him save the tally-ho along for the ride. Somehow, for some reason, they think it's a, a boat that's worth saving and that, that, that's great. And since we shot that story two years ago, the boat has come a long way. And after a controversy about its location that threatened to shut the project down last March, a compromise has been reached and work on the boat will likely finish in Port Townsend. And you can still contribute to this project by subscribing to Leo's videos. We put a link on our website.